So yesterday, I read a story about the gun food. Thegunfood.com is a um, quick process ammunition supply company, um, and it is very active in supporting gun rights to local, state, and national levels. Um, they supply ammunition to regular people and people who protect our society, individual consumers, to ranges, to police departments and instructors. instructors. And this article was about how UPS seems to be losing a lot of their packages. Um, they claim that UPS is behind their missing packages, leading only one third of their orders being delivered. The rest gone. They can't seem to get a real answer uh, from UPS. Patrick Collins is the CEO of the Gun Food. Welcome, Patrick. How are you? I'm great today. How are you doing? I'm good. So can you can you tell us a, a little bit about your business? Um, you're a fully licensed, you're no crackpot kind of business, fly by the seat of your pants. This is a, a legitimate gun and ammunition uh, business, and you've done business with UPS for how long? Uh, we've been doing business with UPS for approximately three years now. And uh, unfortunately, we do not sell firearms, but we sell plenty of ammunition. We supply it to a lot of different ranges okay. and et cetera and so on. Okay. Um, and uh, Patrick, how many, how, how, how many packages have been lost? Oh, I would say approximately $14,000 worth over the course of the business. But however, recently, uh, we just received a hit of about a, a $8,000 loss. So there is, um, you know, I've done business with UPS. I, I don't lose packages like that. Um, what do they say to you when you're like, wait a minute, it didn't arrive to where I was shipping it? What do they say? Well, uh, they try to blame it on sometimes the packaging itself, uh, et cetera, and so on. However, for the most part, uh, we ship all of our ammunition insured, uh, so it requires either a signature or depending on the value, it's always going to be insured for that value. However, uh, the problem that we run into is when it doesn't make it to our customer and the customer calls us back, we have to provide that ammo. A lot of times lives are on the line, lives and livelihood, I would say, uh, whether it's an instructor or even a police department. When they don't receive their ammo, there are issues happening. <laughs> So we reached out to UPS, and I want to read what we wrote to them. Uh, UPS, I'm reaching out on behalf of the Glenbeck radio program. Glenn will be interviewing an Atlanta-based ammunition distributor who alleges that UPS is the behind the reason that his packages are not getting delivered to his customers. He states out of 18,000 rounds of ammunition, he's shipped only 6,000. Uh, sorry, he shipped 18,000, but 6,000 were actually delivered. Additionally, it's being reported that Brownells, a large firearms and ammunition seller, has had their UPS account canceled and UPS is no longer listed as an option for a shipping carrier. Can you please provide some background information on why ammunition and gun sellers are having issues with their package delivery? Um, they said, um, the Eric Glenbeck program, these are two separate issues. Regarding your question about shipping ammunition, quote, as a common carrier, UPS transports ammunition that uh, constitutes cartridges, small arms, as defined in federal regulations. UPS has safety protocols to help ensure the safe transport of ammunition in our network. We work with our customers to address their concerns, including those with packaging. You can find out more about how to ship your ammunition section, ups.com. It includes packaging require, requirements. So they didn't answer the question. They're just saying, again, that they're, they're alluding that your packaging is not compliant with them. That doesn't answer the question, where is the ammunition? Uh, and... I would assume you've tried to follow every single uh, protocol that they have. Yes, every protocol uh, was met 
and, and exceeded even because I actually have pa- I have pictures of how the packages are packed within the uh, the packages that are that they are sent in. So um, they ask me how you know what type of materials that I use, how is it marked or labeled, and I have all of that information. In fact, uh, we changed our protocol here at thegunfood.com to uh, have our drivers when they drop off the packages at the uh, hubs in the centers. They have to actually take a picture of it on their conveyor belt when UPS takes possession of our packages. You have to do this with anybody else? Uh, well, unfortunately, the other uh, major carrier for ammunition, uh, they have their own issues, uh, which have been brought to light probably about two years ago. So we unfortunately have stopped and not considered using them for our business. Uh, so we stuck with UPS. So, so now, when you have when you have UPS, you call them and you say, "Look, I have the pictures. We packaged it right. We put it on your conveyor belt. Here's the receipt." What do they say to you? Well, they they say uh, provide the same amount of information as if I were to lose a family heirloom or. Uh, you know, some other package that could have been shipped that's not involving ammunition. Uh, and at that rate, we're, we're sitting here fighting it. I know uh, quite a few other folks that are have well over $300,000 worth of ammunition gone missing, and it's really changed the way we have to do our business now. $300,000 worth of ammunition? Those yeah. are a lot of bullets that are just what spilling out of their truck because they're not packed right and do they say we here's spoiled boxes and uh, here's the ammunition that we could save i mean they just don't explain where that ammunition in that defective box went to Exactly. To them, it's just a write-off. However, it's becoming a very expensive write-off, and I'd like to thank you for uh, bringing a lot of attention to this because it really is a big deal, and it impacts people on multiple levels, more so than uh, your average citizen would think. I mean, imagine if a police department doesn't receive their ammunition that they need to serve their civic duties, civil duties. So, uh, well, imagine imagine if you got sloppy with ammunition and you were just kind of losing some from time to time, what they would accuse you of. Uh, I'd like to think that this is just incompetence because it can't be excused uh, if you do indeed have the pictures and you are shipping them the right way, uh, which I believe you are. Um, but please send my office the pictures because we'd like to follow this up. Um, there, There is... There's no excuse. It's either theft uh, from their own employees or it is part of a uh, of a um, hidden policy that is disrupting the flow of ammunition. And that's that's I'd re- I hope it's the theft from their employees, but I bet it's not. Yes, and I 100 percent agree. Um, unfortunately, ammunition boxes are relatively easy to identify uh, with the markings that we need to put on them. Um, and, and we try to hide them in ways so that it's not as obvious. However, a lot of times people know what they're grabbing once they grab the box or perhaps even shake it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, way too, way too heavy. Ammunition in a big box, at least, is very heavy. Um, all right. Well, we'll follow up. Um, I would like you to reach back out to my uh, uh, producers. If you do indeed have names of people that have lost $300,000 worth of ammunition the same way you have, um, there's something going on here. Because all of a sudden, all of you guys are starting to just pack it wrong. It's either a they're stonewalling here bo- bothers me. Um, you know, because there should be an answer. What happened to it? What happened to it? Okay, you didn't pack it right. Well, where did that box go? It's not like if I ship diamonds through uh, UPS, uh, uh, they're going to say, you know what, your box fell apart. Okay, well, where are the diamonds? Well, you just write it off. That means they're either keeping it, doing something with it, or they have a theft problem. 
UPS, which one is it? And then why is this happening and you don't seem to care? Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate it. God bless you. You have a good one. You bet.